listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Keith. Johnson. From the AfterBuzz studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menounos and Bing.com, and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies, this is AfterBuzz TV's Duets After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. If you'd like to buzz in on tonight's show, you can buzz us at 424-256-1729. That's 424-256-1729. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's After Buzz TV's Duets After Show. All right, everybody. We all know that Bing is for doing, and what are we doing? We're doing another after show for After Buzz TV. This is the series premiere for Duets Season 1 course episode one all right guys i'm jc and we're bringing the fire we're bringing the heat here tonight this is going to be the greatest show in after buzz history or <laughs> maybe let us know and of course we got a shout out to the chat board and everyone watching us and especially you guys out in itunes make sure to comment subscribe tell us you love us show us you care tell a friend keeps the lights on but before we go any further let's introduce our panel starting to the lady to my right please hi i'm name. carmela mandello that's and a lot of vowels. Yes, it is. <laughs> nice. And to the right of Carmela. I'm Michelle Macedo, here with my twinsie. Hey, yo, it's Melissa Macedo. And uh, you We're can here. follow us on Twitter, at Macedo Music. Um, also, I would agree with you, where we got to get Steph. <laughs> uh, maybe you hate being called that. But would you <laughs> say that out of all the duets episodes, that this would take first place, our team would be first place, of all the duets episodes. Yes, I would say so. I'll get back to you on that <laughs> one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, but we can't, we got to round out the table, of yeah. course. With Hi, everybody. I'm Stephanie. You can tweet me at Stephanie Wenger. And you're, mm -hmm. you're bringing the knowledge tonight, guys. So <laughs> now we all know we're all super fans. And But before we even start on the show, we do got to mention that next week we're going to be at the MTV Movie Awards Gifting Suite. And we're going to be previewing all of the wonderful shows that AfterBuzz does. Duets is going to be there. We're going to be, be in the center of Hollywood and Vine, and we're going to be at the W Hotel. It's going to be awesome. It's just two days of AfterBuzz awesomeness, so tune in, check that out. And, guys, make sure you stick around for our segment later on where we're going to compare X Factor, The Voice, The Choice. Just kidding. Seeing if you're paying <laughs> attention, The Voice, American Idol, and what... <laughs> and Thank of course, you, the guy running our boards, Mr. Ronnie. How could I forget Ron Ron? What's going on, Ronnie? Good morning. How are you? Good morning. I, lo I love duets. <laughs> I sound like I'm 90. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I'm 90 years old. <laughs> but guys, I want to ask a quick question. What, in a word or a sentence, what, what are your first impressions of the show so far? Carmela, what do you think? I honestly, I dig it. It is so yeah. different than any other show out there right now. Wow. Any, I like any, it. any other feelings? Like Anyone to counter her off, <laughs> counter um, her statement? I, I think it's awesome because I don't think it's coming from a place of word judges we're going to judge you. Yeah. They're getting up and doing their thing. Okay. Right. So on every other show, it's like they're sitting turning there and chairs. like rating them and what? Yeah, turning their chairs. Which you know, I, I, I love have the a voice. Question. It, it almost seems like are these contestants always going to be better than they actually are because they have somebody so good next to them? Mm, I mean, that's interesting. That was what I was seeing with some of the weaker performers. Uh, well, okay, I was thinking that it, all, all around, I think, like a more professional version of all of these shows. You know, like these are professionals, like doing their thing. I feel like it's classy like that. Um, but also, I think that some of the judges could possibly pick people not to outshine them i mean in the future yeah. oh like on yeah. purpose yes that's true you know what i loved about it too is i think uh, sorry you guys don't even ask me <laughs> but i'm just telling you because i really like I you're, really you're a super fan no Come i really on. i really liked caduce as the host but i like the show um i loved how the judges were not forced to like hate each other like it was yeah. a harmonious totally. event mm -hmm. i don't know why every one of these damn tv shows everyone's got to have a little beef or oh, oh yeah. playful banter they all liked each other, yeah. and it's fun to watch. Made me happy. Mm -hmm. I was giggling the whole time, especially looking at the Macedo twins, so there Stephanie. you go. <laughs> yeah. I just feel like kind of 
similar to you, where if someone isn't a good singer, it might actually cause them to, you know, fall even further yeah, because they're up. Yeah, more. Yeah, because it's like, oh, I'm next to this great singer, so if I'm not so great, it's going to be really clear that I'm not so great. So right. you think they're just playing nice this first week and possibly as the season progresses, because they're going to sing different genres. So do you think, you know, the, the, the singer's ego might get in the way? And it the, just the, sing the professional The professional singer? singer. Excuse uh, me, we're all well singers. You know what? They, I think they picked very clearly people who weren't divas. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I feel like that's not going to get in the way, maybe. Mm -hmm. I feel like certain egos have already <laughs> begun to get in the way. Ooh, like who? Um, who oh, you got to tell. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, really? Uh, okay. Uh Wow, I just forgot his name for a second, but John Legend. I oh. think they, oh. yes, I think he has a bit of an ego I on him. I saw that. I, I, I see From that. the get go, he's like. I just think he's like a cool guy. Like Right, and that's up. how it, 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 that's how that like totally worked together for yeah. him. Because it gives him that, that edge, that like chilled out vibe. Mm -hmm. But when he talks, I kind of get the vibe like he knows he's like a superstar. I mean, n him next to Kelly Clarkson is just, like, a huge difference yeah. in terms of ego. Mm -hmm. I, she seems to be the most, like, generous perform. I mean, like, person, uh, like... She's beautiful. You know, I, yeah. So personable, so relatable. Yeah. I think yeah, any anyone in America can relate to Kelly that you, you can't help but to love her, yeah. honestly. Yeah. But um, I wanted to add to what Ronnie said about the difference between the shows. Actually, Caduce gave an interview talking about that you know, these other shows tend to break the singers down and they're yes. their, their whole purpose is actually to bring them up. That's exactly, that's their whole MO this whole season. So you're not going to see the snippy comments. I think it's too early to tell because didn't the, you guys did the, didn't you guys do some of the voice for After Buzz as yes. well? Yes, we, we did. We, did we, we just done finished all the voice. Seasons, both seasons. Both seasons of the voice. Okay, so they e as, as they move along, like c comparing the seasons, mm -hmm. did the egos come in more this season than the first? You know, like Egos of the judges? Yes. Well, you know what? I think, uh, I think Christina toned it down. Actually, okay. I All think right. they uh, the first season they were trying to like state who they are, right. you know, and then mm -hmm. like make a stand okay. about yeah. it and get ratings like that. Like it just where, yeah. it just to me it seemed like you know once Simon Cowell initially had his season at the very beginning, season one of being like snippy, you know, with the contestants, that was the formula for every damn show. Yeah, and yes. this was like the f the voice. There's there's little aspects of it. Every other show, there's little aspects of it. X Factor, mm -hmm. the whole thing. But like this was the first show that I watched with you guys, where I was like, oh, it's it's like I'm gonna use the word harmony again. And I feel like it's fun to watch because it's different. I'm, mm. I'm just I'm so tired of the same formula. We don't always need a mean judge. I mean, or what it mm. doesn't <laughs> have is humiliation, yeah. public humiliation, which yes. is really common, especially on reality TV, like any true. kind of reality. Like TV. going back to the early days, especially of AI, when they mm -hmm. would you know have like you know it was entertaining, but have right. all those like horrible people come on. Um, but I thought what, what was interesting, I read an article with J-Lo, and she said that she would only sign up to do AI if it wasn't so catty. You know, I think okay. Simon mm -hmm. Cowell, like, set that precedent. But this is an evolution of singing competition okay. because my it's even less Well, my let's my save this for later as oh, well because it is our special yeah. segment. Oh, it is. We're oh, no. But we're so passionate about it. I know. There's so Here's much. Here's a funny Sorry, thing. JC. Oh, no, 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 not at all. <laughs> I'm going to say, <laughs> let's talk about something interesting here, like a newsflash. How about the contestants? Let's start with the first one. We let's start that. with yeah. Jennifer Nettles. And who's a big Sugarland fan? Oh yes, oh, oh yeah, huge. huge. Yeah. I I really Jeez. wasn't. I mean, I I heard about it, and actually I heard about it in a bad way because there was that accident when the stage fell at mm -hmm. that oh festival, yeah. and right. I, and that's actually why I like went and checked them out, <laughs> uh, yeah. even though that's awful. But then we went to the <laughs> Grammy <laughs> nomination show. And she was like a powerhouse. Yeah, she's I mean she's amazing. an amazing performer. Oh my god. Yeah, that band is seriously so amazing. Yeah, and her voice Great. is just like heaven. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, it's so pure it's and smooth yeah. and strong, mm -hmm. and you could tell that she just has real like support underneath yeah. it. Mm -hmm. And she's such a nice person. So nice. Yeah. Oh my god. So lady. she'd be she's gonna be a great mentor. Would you say? Would you say that because she I has that nurturing spirit about her? I think so. I think that, and she also has a lot of experience on stage. I think that that's actually what all four of them really bring to this, is that mm -hmm. they're bringing lots of experience, and I think that some of these other shows, I mean, with The Voice, you all have experience too, but some of them, you don't have as much experience 
with being on stage. And I think that that's so important if you're mentoring someone. Mm -hmm. And that takes us to Jay Rome. It was Jay the first, Rome. you know, she, we did, she saw a few people. She started in, did she start in Vegas and then went to New York yeah. yes. on this, per, on looking for this first yeah, uh, that's mm -hmm. what partner, I saw. this first duetter. Would you say that? I wouldn't say that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> don't that works. Well, it's Partner. now online forever. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag duetter. Okay. Um, Seriously. No, J. Cole, what'd you guys think of J. Cole? J. J. Rowe. <laughs> J. Rowe. J. Cole's a rapper. <laughs> J. Rowe. That boy. And I'm not winning with the girls tonight. <laughs> he has well, such yeah. a sweet voice, and he has swagger. Yeah. And him performing with her, she, they're two different genres and mm -hmm. two different people completely. And that, like, I loved it. I loved it. Yeah. Also, I feel like I really made an impression on everyone because it was the first yeah. of anyone. And so you're going to be like, what? What is this all about? Mm -hmm. And he like blew it up. They blew it out of the water. Do you think the producers placed that on, did that on purpose to get uh, that yeah. get that big start? Wit but yeah. then I thought, you know, there's so many amazing people like mm -hmm. like Josh. Uh, I think that yeah. her, her I other uh, her. Yeah. Her other partner. Yes. So it's kind of like. I don't know how they did. I don't know how they picked that. I mean, it seems to me like these performers have so much experience that they can pretty much like blend into any uh -huh. genre, and and they are kind of like going over to. She seemed to be going over to Jay Rome's genre a little bit mm -hmm. to like make the song, which is just a sign of like a generous performer, which is exactly what makes people exciting to watch, mm -hmm. which is like. I it was awesome. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, no, and you're right, you know, we're talking about the genres and uh, this isn't this isn't his I don't think this is his wheelhouse and the fact that it was so good, I can only imagine when you get into his lane. Mm -hmm. We always talked about lanes on in other mm -hmm. like AI and stuff mm -hmm. like that. You get in his wheelhouse, he's going to kill it. Yeah. And the neat thing that yeah. when he went first, he was in first place. He was in first place the <laughs> whole see time. That's, 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 that's why I said that's why I said we're in first yeah. place. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, he was great. And he what? Good enough to be first place? He topped the chart the whole time. Uh -huh. I, I he did. Yeah. yeah. When there was more than first place. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> all eight of them, and he was still Even, number yeah. one. Okay. Even so, so them. what about his her second partner? Oof. What about John Glossom? Oh my God. So powerful. Unbelievable. It's the year of Georgia. I'm telling you because last night Philip Phillips, Georgia oh won yeah. again. Oh. The Rep in GA. Yeah, I'm telling <laughs> you, it's Georgia's, it's Georgia Renaissance, mm -hmm. and he <laughs> Georgia <laughs> Renaissance. <laughs> it makes no sense. There's definitely some talent coming out of Georgia, and for sure. Wow. He was. I feel like he was right on par with his tone, his performance. He was connected mm -hmm. with her the whole time. Yeah. And she she was like crying. I <laughs> mean, she cried in the audition. Yeah. She so is crying. we are we're feeling that from the TV. Imagine what it felt like in the room. Yeah. And she's a pro, you know? Uh -huh. So I, I just feel like it's very rare to find someone with that much power. But like also who power. isn't who isn't pushing to to have an effect on her or right. isn't pushing like I hope you like me because of that just makes it worse, you know? They don't. And, and, and that comes across. Yeah, they yeah. definitely had a nice balance between them. That was, I thought, what was so impressive was that they didn't, he wasn't pushing her. He, she didn't try to outshine him. There was this kind of good on stage balance. Yeah, he the was blend. So charismatic. He mm -hmm. was charismatic. And, mm -hmm. and I even wrote that he sings to the heavens. I, I really felt like I was, I had goosies. I can't, oh, I said goosies. goosies. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> I didn't I know I had J-Lo sitting next to me. Up hey, there. Yeah, honey, do not get me started. Right? <laughs> no. But he was a delight to watch. I, I was smiling the whole time I was watching yeah, him. He gave too. a performance. They, and Stephanie, you, you went to the AI final last night. I did, yes. Is, is, the, is there a huge difference being there live? I'm sure. But a what does huge it like? difference. It's so weird you mention it because that's what kept hitting me as I was watching this entire show was that there's so much that happens kind of off camera or mm -hmm. just like the way the band interacts with the you know with the performers and just the judges how they treat the performers like once the cameras stop rolling and so to see this show just on tv it was like a good reminder to get back into it because i've been at idol for several weeks now watching mm -hmm. it live so, so, it's, so that's a neat insight for fans that mm -hmm. are listening. They could hear that there is a huge difference. It's like that insider info. That's why we <laughs> love that you're here. So, <laughs> but okay, who was surprised on where John ended up? Yes, I was I very surprised. He, he was kind of like more in the. I mean, I thought he'd be number one or two. I, 
immediately yeah, i was like sure. i yeah. i think i wrote i was like he's gonna be number one and then when i saw it because the way they do it on the show I, I they they have a scoring system where they base it on performance and presentation okay is there a difference between performance yeah, and presentation it's definitely iffy i feel like the presentation is probably the vocal arrangement is what they mean okay or the yeah. the actual music and then the performance is like the performative aspect of it so they're I really trying to be really nice you know they're really <laughs> oh yeah instead of saying pitch they're saying yeah uh, yeah presentation. presentation pitch i guess sounds you know like it's hyper yeah. critical or something. but you know it's interesting i feel like this is one of the only voice shows where you don't know what each individual judge has scored the people mm. Mm -hmm. so you don't they're they they say their notes oh that was awesome you know but yeah. you don't actually know and how they're rated and that was the thing that bothered me most about the show actually mm. was that i like hearing those comments from the judges because I think that that's actually what gives you that feeling of being in the room because mm -hmm. without that like maybe it was awesome in the room and everybody and that's why they were getting great scores but here when you're watching it on the couch you're not seeing you know that same thing but if the judges are like wow you like blew the room away and everyone was standing for you that kind of helps people at home kind of get get what the performance was a little bit better I feel like mm -hmm. and I guess uh, with this particular show, we're not voting or the public doesn't get to vote. So maybe that's why it doesn't matter as much. That's so interesting, too. I think, you know, nowadays it's all about the fan interaction mm -hmm. and, you know, the votes count. You text, you tweet, all that kind of stuff. I kind of miss it. I, I, I would like. You miss yeah, the I fan wish we did have a well, say. Do I we know that I there's no, not we a don't public know. Yeah, I wonder if there will be. I you know, in the voice, they don't let people what vote until later. What is Stephanie saying? Are you saying you would prefer that they, you heard every judge give uh, like mm -hmm. an because an analysis of what each person, I mean. What yeah, because it was very, I mean, it's very positive and it's nice. Mm -hmm. but, but, then it but this guy, they were all like, wow, it doesn't match up, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, now I'm like, what did you really think? What was your scoring? And also... I mean, w I'm sure we'll get into this later on, but the fact that Kelly's people both yes. ended up at the bottom yes. seems right. like it will be interesting to see were they like playing some game with these secret scores. Mm. It's kind of mm. like if you ever had a teacher that whenever you'd go for a presentation and you know you were horrible and they're like, oh, that's <laughs> very <laughs> nice. <laughs> you did really good. You know? <laughs> it's not going to really help you out, you know. Yeah. So mm. maybe behind the scenes, that's <laughs> where they're going to get the true critical, right. constructive More criticism. Constructive. Maybe, yeah. right. But I agree, like, it's helpful for them to say something because also I it's just like otherwise – the gen uh, there's so much like artistry that goes into it and into performance and stuff and if they just say that everybody's great which this time they did even though everybody was great they have the luxury to be like nitpicky mm -hmm. yeah you maybe know? they're just all being nice for the premiere yeah I think yeah. So. next week it's gonna get real <laughs> <laughs> also i wonder if 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 it's it becomes like personal like not only are you judging mm -hmm. the like Vocal, superstar yeah. or i mean the contestant but like the superstar and and uh, then yeah, like personally and their relationship you know like with you know for <laughs> example if john legend voted i don't know zero whatever for <laughs> kelly clarkson you know maybe that's why she got on the bottom and well then maybe we should move on to john legend that right? is okay yeah. let's yeah. do that <laughs> beautiful se <laughs> beautiful segue <laughs> there yeah. yeah no and john uh, you know john legend he's he said that i'm a producer and like you talk who was who's the one that was talking about his ego a little bit uh, yeah yeah he i did catch that when yeah, he said I you know, i've it. produced many songs for many people and i'm like oh oh this he could be a little simon-esque yeah hoping, i'm hoping a, li a little a little simon I light i feel like he simon could light. be more like him and robin um could get into it a little bit robin thick mm, i, okay. I kind of felt that it was like little seeds of that happening mm, okay. and i feel like that might be what we see come Mm -hmm. It's because Robin, I saw that too, because when Robin was trying to make a joke to John Legend and John Legend was like, hey, you open for me. You know? Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> oh yeah, he awesome. definitely like, oh, I'm like star he maker. stars. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that, 100%. Was, that was definitely a moment. <laughs> and then he was like kind of serious about it. You know, he <laughs> like <laughs> kept a straight face after he said that. Like, yeah. I make stars. Yeah. 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 <laughs> before they met you yeah little by Sorry. little we're calling it right now <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah exactly john, john legend is gonna be awesome to watch yes. <laughs> yes i need a little spice but let's talk about his first guy though yeah. was it john Johnny. I, just, I called him teddy bear i missed his first name but <laughs> he was, like was sweating the whole time <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. and caduce called him out for it that i know was so see funny. this is yeah, what i'm saying though <laughs> this is what i'm saying he was sweating you could see like every pore 
John Legend looked great. Uh, well, I think this guy like, Wait, was really saying? hot and yeah, nervous. Yeah, he was I'm so saying, nervous. I'm saying he was in different light. Obviously, they're I guess they're trying to showcase yeah, him or whatever. John, but John I just feel like John Legend won't, is one of those people that doesn't want them to be to outshine him ever. Okay. Really? I feel the opposite. I think just someone has a crush on John no, Legend. I, I that's I that's I <laughs> that. <laughs> I, he, he obviously has to seek out voices that kind of sound like him. Sure. And, he, and I appreciate that he doesn't like the riffing because it seems like on shows like American Idol and The Voice yeah, they that just it's just that. about that, which is not even a sign of a good singer. Okay. I don't, I don't that's know. Not well out of what, what would you say is a good sign of a good singer then? Control oh, well, and breath lot, yeah. support and okay. pitch and and the purity is what Jennifer Nettles was more looking mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. and that is a sign of a of a great singer who can in the t in like moment of crisis still sound good. Mm. No, and I thought it was an astute change that John Legend made with John with Teddy Bear, <laughs> that he started too high in ordinary people and he said change it up or you know he he had him go low, and I was like I, even, I was like oh that was that was good so mm -hmm. he he gave he gave him good insight and. Yeah. When they sang together, I, I was like, I, I thought he was fantastic, and then, except for the sweat, it was a little much. <laughs> but <laughs> but I it felt it's bad for him because he was sweating so much. But he sounded great. I'm well, you worried. Know, it made John Legend proud like that he wrote honey. that song. Yes. <laughs> Good <Wow>. for you. <laughs> so John Legend has an ego. He wrote an awesome song. Well, out yeah. of his two performers, neither of them were my favorite, though. Really? See, I don't think I, I don't think Teddy Bear Johnny. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to make <laughs> that name catch on. I don't think he'll translate as well in the other genres. Right mm -hmm. now, they started on yeah. you know their song. If they move him to like rock or so or something else, yeah. I think he could be in trouble. And that's gonna be the test, really. I think yeah. that's the difference between him and uh, J. Rome. Mm -hmm. Is it J. Rome? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you said the, the right one. The first, <laughs> the first <laughs> one. Yeah. yeah, but um. What so about his next? Let's talk about his other one. Yeah. Bridget. Yeah. So, uh, so what do you think about Bridget, guys? Overall, she had confidence out the roof. Yeah. From the moment she walked in that room. Yeah. Could yeah. be yeah. Bridget, remind me what does she look like? She wait, which what was she? She was the she was from I believe she's from Maryland. She's the She's like the thirty oh, four year old lady, the she's taxes the finance lady, yes. yes. She's like yeah. when you don't pay your taxes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. Oh she was Yeah, funny. she was very confident and I mean I thought she was really great. You know what my favorite part of that song was? What? It was for tonight. It was the arrangement. When they started the song, I it, there was something different. I, I was like, ooh, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, it's sorry, you can ooh, yeah. no. the, <laughs> thank you, Ronnie. <laughs> yeah, it, just an arrangement, and I liked her, but I <sighs> yeah. From Ma Bing dot com, executive Ma producer. <laughs> <Maria> Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted people, you to know. You. Even yeah, the people at Bing are excited <laughs> about the arrangement because <laughs> yeah. it was great. I liked her, but it's still too early to tell. I yeah. think that yeah, although early. she has a great voice. What John Legend was describing was looking for people with especially unique voices. I think that hers was more generic mm -hmm. than what he's describing and what I think that his voice will blend with. Yeah, I do. He could have. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, I don't feel like he sh she had that superstar quality. I think mm -hmm. maybe this yeah. is coming off of American Idol again, that we saw these people who have superstar quality to them and i'm not sure that his two people yet have that maybe that will come with well, him he makes them he makes <laughs> them superstars <laughs> i get it 100 you never know he could <laughs> fairy <laughs> dust could be the john legend winners. fairy dust <laughs> maybe he just wants to increase <laughs> album sales which i don't think he really has a problem with and yeah. speaking of which he could probably just you could buy his cds on amazon well wasn't it oh. supposed to be lo oh uh -huh. yes of course so amazon <laughs> you can go uh, that was a lovely transition by the way but um if you go to our lovely website afterbuzztv.com you can click on the banner for amazon.com and ooh, ooh, mm. and it will take you to the normal amazon site and um you can purchase what have you everything that amazon has to offer um books and all of that but then um you are able to do to purchase all of that and um, at the same prices that you normally would, but a little bit of it comes back to AfterBuzz. And, and that's always good. Which yes. would help a lot. And it, as we know, it keeps the lights on. Uh, and that is Rather key. than off. Yes. <laughs> well, we like I on. think that keeps most importantly, you guys are what keeps the lights on. That's true. And you guys are the only people <laughs> that can go on Amazon. I mean, AfterBuzz. 
Afterbuzz. Like go, go to, to Afterbuzz. Yes, that's the key. You've got to go to Afterbuzz. Buy and a John then Legend album or a Macedo album. Or the Macedo <laughs> album. <laughs> that's yeah. a good one. You know, I heard that was nice. good too. I, I heard that was good. I heard, heard it's one. fantastic. Flags and boxes. Well, it's funny that you guys are talking about, you know, the, the, the Macedo music and whatnot, but is there a possibility that you might sing a song in an upcoming episode, perhaps? Uh, well, we've been talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> we're in, we're in, we're in <laughs> negotiations. That was, that, was <laughs> that was almost like, uh, like you ask a celebrity a, like a, an amazing question, and they just say yes. Uh, wow. That's it. No. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. We'll we'll we'll, no we'll, we'll check back in future. <laughs> we're in, in negotiation. Fantastic. And you just say that. <laughs> let and let us know. Of course, the fans want to know, and especially the people at Chat Roll. There, there are standards and practices. They make sure we stay in line. What's okay. up to Watchtower Base, everyone who's watching us, guys? We couldn't do it without you guys. So let's move on to Lost Without You. Oof. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Awesome. Carmella was melting. Like, seriously, I had that to pick you song. up. That song. Oh, Carmella. my God. She that song sounded it. like I loved this you version. Yeah, he this wrote it. My oh, favorite they all version. wrote so the songs. Yeah. Yes. Right? Sexual. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah definitely gonna go and do and it. Sexual. See, see, Carmilla showed up with the parka and just like <laughs> after the song, she I, I was sweating like Johnny was. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> not that much, <laughs> but that, that would, almost. That would not be cool. In a sex shower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But what'd you guys think of his audition process? Like, let's say when he had Olivia show up. Yeah. I was sold the second uh, yeah, Olivia oh started yeah. singing. I was oh like, yeah. She just uh, her just voice came her out like yes. so easily. Yeah. Like the first first line she had in the audition, I was like, ooh, I felt like Nora Jones right o right off the bat. That's mm -hmm. them two together was like dynamite. That's yeah. what I'm she talking about great. with star power though. Mm -hmm. Is that she had it. Like whatever that it is yeah. that you need to have to do this yeah. like she had it and we were all in the room being like oh that she's amazing let's totally watch her like she's definitely one to watch mm -hmm. and some of the others i didn't have that they have nice voices right. but not that right factor Here's yeah did anyone have a doubt that he was going to choose her no well he no. was like i don't know what to do we're like yeah you do did you see him like light up when she started singing yeah. though yeah. And well they're like perfect together her yeah. tone with his tone yeah exactly they're just like but here's the thing i didn't like the performance as much as the audition i didn't think they I matched that's I agree. true I, agree. I i just didn't feel i and it was weird and i hate i can't believe i'm saying this I I had trouble with Ro with Robin and and Olivia's harmonization. I don't. Can I tell you off. why what I think it? why I think they were both a little in their falsetto, okay. and I think he was, yeah. you know don't you think? Yeah, he was, and and therefore it like took power away from their voices. I think that's the song. Y maybe they were y a little out of their range. I think they were a little higher than their range. But how can we say that when it's it's Robin's song? But but then their sweet spot, like mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like it doesn't that's mean that he didn't said. sing it like really amazingly well. That I think they both did. But I think the reason why it didn't make as much as an impact mm -hmm. is because of the song they, they had to compromise. Yeah, it, it's just it's it's higher than. Did they ever do spot. that in the voice? Like, uh, uh, did the judges sing with the contestants? I, 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 I never yeah, had yeah, that. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. They did the performances. With, like, the final ones, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, with, with yeah, some of the did. final ones. They did. I remember. Each did a performance okay. with their judge. Yeah, yeah I, their team I didn't get leader. a chance to see it. That's why I was just like, ah, oh, because I, I thought they were stealing a little bit from the voice. But it was interesting to know. I don't, it was, was it Robin or John Legend that said, you start the, you start the note, at the end of the beat, and I started before the. Oh, beat. Mm -hmm. that was it was mm -hmm. the time. Their timing was different. I think it was. It Robin. was. It, it was Robin. Actually, it was. Yeah. It was fascinating oh, yeah. about singing in front and behind the beats. I'd never heard of something like that. So it, yeah. you're learning so much, mm -hmm. like technically. That's yeah. also another thing about like this show, which like American Idol. It's just like Simon. I mean, first season and stuff. Now it's different, but it was like Simon Cowell just putting people down, and this like goes into what actually like technical stuff that mm -hmm. you yeah, need to know. Cool. That's yeah. yeah, that's what I was noticing because American Idol, you kind of have that feeling of yes, we can watch another Ford commercial but <laughs> 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 I mean, I saw a lot of them um, yeah. but, it, and I mean it's fun and there's a definite, but it's a different quality to it for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. Now Carmela, what did you think of the performance? Because I know you, you're a big fan but did you did See, you like their performance like Olivia and... They're, they're, you guys are getting like technical with it. I thought it, it sounded great. I thought they okay. did awesome together. They had the chemistry performing together. They were like all about each other. So I thought they so sounded good. So you felt the connection. I did. Okay. 
So I that's it was a good performance. This is what's so good that we all have kind of like slightly different opinions, mm-hmm. and when I, and we all know that Ronnie's the the one that's right. So <laughs> he calls. The I can't dogs. sing for nothing. <laughs> but but I do y- karaoke like nobody's business though. But you know, but you know now. This Prove it. Uh oh. Lost oh, without oh no. you. <laughs> He's going to. He's going to. Yeah. He's going to. Think about We're now losing iTunes him. viewers. Fantastic. Uh-huh. <laughs> now who do we have? N- do we have? Is it Kelly? Alexis? Ke- oh, Alexis. W- on Team Robin. Oh, uh, that's right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. So tell me about Alexis on Team Robin. It was good to me, but it didn't stick out. Well, how, I'm what sorry. What was the song? Uh, I magic. magic. I don't know oh. if it was because of the song choice. Yeah, I wasn't into the song. Yeah, I wasn't yeah. into the song. Loved either. that song. Really? I was really? Magic. Yes, I loved it. Is but that like, oh, you're talking about the little huh? Wayne. You're like, right. It doesn't you know match what the show. I mean? It'd be better on BET. You're right. I just sorry. feel like if you're if their like <laughs> goal is <laughs> no, that's not what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> if their goal is to get number one or whatever. Pick a stronger song, yeah. you know. But uh, the judges disagreed because she yeah. bumped Olivia and John down. You know, I thought and they yeah. were cute. I thought they were cute. I thought it was a different pace. It seemed like the other stuff was very dramatic, uh-huh. and, and this was cute fluff. It was. It just had a different pace for me, and I. I didn't <laughs> think it was the greatest song. But I just thought it was it was cute. It was a, like a change of pace. Mm, okay. So that that's why I yeah, I it didn't stick out. I can't really remember it. Exhibit A. Do you want me to sing it? The karaoke <laughs> in me. You again? know what? We'll that's hold okay. off on that. That's okay. I, I yeah. mean, I was ready to. We'll you make know, that. I, n- I know time. you were. All right. All right. All right, Kelly. Are we on? <laughs> do we have to do game fly? <laughs> oh, <laughs> you gamers out there. Oh, we're talking about games. Okay. Do you like <laughs> video games but hate paying 60 to $70 every time a new game comes out? If a, you're a yeah. parent shelling out lots of dough each time a gay comes out, game comes out, <laughs> and, you're, and your game is done so much playing, money. I know how to read, I promise. Within a week, Gamefly.com Ubers. is the perfect... <laughs> no, it's see, the best <laughs> thing about no. Like think want, of it this way: game, game, <laughs> GameFly. It's kind of like the Netflix for games. Are you yeah, ga- okay? Game are you guys gamers? Is that what it game is? Fly yeah. away. Okay, like you know, I, I I'm sure they're gonna come out with a, like a duet video game. So you're gonna get to um, sing with John Legend. We have and Beatles Rock Band. See, yes, maybe it'll do. be like that. Yeah, so you can <laughs> get it on GameFly. You know, you can go to after. It, now, Ronnie, finish it. Oh. Is it Gamefly TV slash um, AfterBuzz? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we get all these deals that come to us because we're online like every single day. Sure. Over 45 shows. So the people at Gamefly, they hit us up and they wanted us to get let you guys know, the people who are online. It's Gamefly.com slash AfterBuzz TV. 15-day free trial. As I always say, super simple. So and it's Fly. like a Netflix for video games? Yes. yes. And it's That's the perfect cool. gift for, li- like, um, this is to all girlfriends, wives out there. Father's Day. Yes, Father's mm-hmm. Day's coming up. Trust me, the g- Dad, Dad will have Tiger Woods PGA Tour. He will <laughs> love you. It is awesome. Seriously, my girlfriend got it for me, and I'm serious. Oh I no. I love her. I think I'm going to marry her just because she <laughs> got me. Yeah, yeah, don't pretend you, you have a girlfriend. And we can't, <laughs> 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 and we can't just <laughs> shout out the, the, the Father's you. Day crowd. we got to <laughs> shout out the uh, unemployed, you know, males that play video games all day. Or they're, female. Cause there's a, but, but, I mean, there's a lot of those. Yes. So there, I, mean, there I, I like are. to shout out the people that are just not doing anything with their lives <laughs> and they're video gamers <laughs> because they, at the end of the day when you have nothing, you have video games. I'm sure they appreciate the show. Right? And like I said, slow clap. <laughs> but and by the end of the season, <laughs> <laughs> get duets a video game. I'm sure they'll yeah. have one. Oh, that'd, that'd be so oh fun. Yeah. That'd that'd be fun. You heard it here first. There we go. Another <laughs> After Buzz exclusive, <laughs> oh Ronnie. No. Okay, hold on. <laughs> After Buzz TV exclusive. Right on time. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. So I any any other thoughts now? Team. Should we move on to Kelly? Team Kelly. Yes, yeah. I was dying for. Ke- I don't know, for some reason, oh that was the person gosh. I was most excited to see. Yeah, yeah. well, it's so yeah. funny because she got her rise to fame because of her, a show like this. Right. So I thought that's an interesting perspective. Uh, yeah, I was her. Al- oh yeah, go ahead. I was also just wondering if she—that's why it's so nice. Yeah. Is because she had to deal with Simon Cowell and you know oh that God, whole know. experience, and she just refused to be a part of something that was gonna have that tone. Yeah. I, I totally think that's part of it. Yeah, because I just would imagine that you would never, if you were like up on that stage, want to be the person shelling that up. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. how crazy was it that Juliana and Jason had to perform at one of her concerts? Oh as my their audition. god! Oh my god! That was. So that I would be nuts. dying inside. Especially yeah. tonight, there's about six thousand people coming. That sh- that was just like crazy. Yeah. Uh, uh, Talking about throwing you into the fire. Oh but it was a great like test. 
It was. You know? Have and you Jason was so cute. He started crying on his stage when yeah. he was performing with her. Well, yeah, and they kind of, it's interesting because it takes American Idol the entire season to get to the Nokia Theater, which is 7,000 people, I believe. Mm -hmm. And so they started these oh people where American Idol ends. So huh. a nice. I didn't know that. Yeah, th yeah. throw them right into the fire. So yeah. Yeah. has that ever happened to you guys, you know, as, as musicians? Do you, have you guys ever been thrown into this awkward situation? Oh, my God. All, all the time. The time. <laughs> what do you think? People all like, of the time. Show us, show us that what you do is legitimate. Mm. Prove to us that, like, what, like my or parents or something. Yeah. Or family members. In any gathering, it's like, you sing. guys sing. <laughs> Go. Restaurants. Do it. There's a piano. I mean, like, the only thing worse would be, like, to be, like, on an after show and they ask you right away, like, can you guys sing a song? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That would be crazy. So that, I mean, that would never happen. So you that guys would never happen. Crazy. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm trying to think of I the worst. But yeah, it's, it's probably when Kelly Clarkson pushed us out on stage. <laughs> probably, <laughs> no, but that never JK, happened. JK, that never oh. happened. Oh, no, JK. okay. I was like, I bought it for a second. <laughs> yeah. I was like, really? Yeah, oh yeah, no. so uh, yeah, right. You guys would know about that. But okay. totally, people do that, so you do have to be prepared. And yeah, you do you have do. to have a song, uh, like multiple songs, you know, just like for actors, monologues. And stuff. You totally well, have to be prepared. Like just like Stephanie, what did you think about it? What, you, what did you think about J. Ron? I mean, is it J. Ron? I'm just seeing you guys are paying attention. What did you think uh -huh. about Jason? <laughs> I liked him. He, there was something really sweet about him, like tearing up and just kind of. You could tell how important it was to him, and I think that that's part of it. Like you need to have the performance aspect. Obviously, that's key. But there's something that like. If you want to be in the competition, I think it's nice to see. Like it's like the humble beginning. L right. Let's say he sticks around, and at the end, let's see the growth that he had. Because oh yeah. he started yeah. as this shy, big voice. And yeah. they had this beautiful hero note in San Diego. Was it in San Diego or in the performance? In the mi towards the end of the song, where they just sustained this. Yeah, that and I was like, great. I'm a sucker for those because I'm not <laughs> trained like you guys. Oh, and I mean, it doesn't I matter it if you are. It if just it moves. affects you like that. Yeah, so I liked him, and... I was surprised. He was on the bottom. Yeah. 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 I know. Well, you know, I think he was really nervous. Yeah. And I saw that, you know, you when did he see was that in singing. The it was it came across in his voice. Like he was just it was just that the caliber of all of them were so good mm -hmm. that any little like sign of weakness, mm -hmm. I feel like yeah, you can tell. Yeah, he didn't have the strongest performance. No. I, yeah, we know he's in touch with his vulnerability. Yeah, he's an emotional <laughs> muffin, as I said. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a pretty sure. good description. <laughs> <laughs> muffin an emotional is definitely little muffin. The and he was talking about how his dad was a singer and then like gave it up oh to yes. like support well, them. Well, I mean, the well, we'll talk about this in special segment, so let's move on. <laughs> so, no, no. Well, hopefully there could be some redemption because, you know, uh, Jason was towards the bottom. So maybe she redeemed herself with Jordan mm -hmm. with the with the pink hair. And it looked like if pink and Kelly Clarkson had a baby, it'd be Jordan. Yeah. <laughs> or if Kelly Clarkson had pink hair, like Ronnie said, <laughs> yeah. it would be Jordan. <laughs> yeah, Ronnie would ke kept coming in throughout the episode. And he's like, oh, my God. And it was like a perfect I observation. I said, oh, my God, yeah. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my gosh! Oh and then gosh. he walked out. But <laughs> it's funny because the other judges were like, "I didn't, couldn't tell you guys apart." Yeah, they you know? had the same yeah. tone, the same exact tone. Yeah, I couldn't tell the difference sometimes either. Wow, that I mean, that's awesome. I thought the nerves killed her. Ooh, I thought the yeah, nerves. Yeah, she had bad she nerves. Was, <laughs> and I knew she was gonna be because the whole time she was like, "Oh freaking my god!" Out, like it's super funny. Fan. It's funny how just like Jason and crying and her and freaking out, how how what you would think would be advantages. Or, or something to make it even better, like become disadvantages. You called that out uh, way better than, way better, <laughs> more better. I don't know. <laughs> way okay. better. You Just called better. it. You <laughs> called it out in a sense that I thought it would be more. Speaking from the oh. heart, uh, I thought it would be more endearing. Like yeah. I thought it would really, like you said, mm -hmm. I thought it would really, really work. And uh, I do. We do all these after shows, and you hear about people and the way they're supposed to act with another entertainer and to hold themselves at that level. But I thought for this show, it would be so cool. And she really did get the nerve. So I was wrong, and you were absolutely right on that. Well, so. it's just that. It's just that. It's like that is endearing, but but an audience isn't going to wait around for you to stop crying. But you know? And I guess there is a, there's probably like a difference, too, uh, because vocally you'll get distracted, right, by, by yes. having that emotion? Yes. Well, also, if you're singing a duet with someone, you have to trust them and that they'll be able to carry out their end of the deal. And if they don't, then you're screwed. Because That's it's what's it's huge about this yeah. show. It's, totally it's that level of trust that they're going to have to have. Yeah. I mean, because their careers, they're not on the line, like the professional singers. Right. But, but they still have that image, and I would think they'd be kind of worried that if someone... And that's where they have to become... This is where you become a master of your craft when you become a teacher. 
mm. you know, well, being able to coach them. Yeah, I was going to say, I think it is a little bit of a gamble for them. Not so much like none of these professional singers are losing their careers. I mean, yeah. that's right. clear. <laughs> but <laughs> be real. I mean, exactly. <laughs> but they... Um, they are risking, you know, a little bit of embarrassment at the very least if mm -hmm. a performance doesn't go the yeah. way they want it to. Um, especially, I assume that the show is moving into live performances eventually um, here. And also, um, I just feel like with uh, these performers, you kind of want um, want them to succeed. You want uh, to see these amazing performances and if it doesn't go so well, it's you know it's going to blow up Twitter and, and Facebook and all those things. And, and can they handle it? That's kind of the question we were talking about with John Legend mm -hmm. and all those guys. And also it's interesting because I remember reading earlier on that Lionel Richie was supposed to do the show. Right. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Then oh, he had like a conflict of something? Supposedly it was was scheduling, but yeah, we scheduling know what that helped. means. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> and so it was. That's like a question. There is, and, and they replace him with who? With, with John Legend. With John Legend. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. Oh. No, and see, and the thing with Kelly, I mean, uh, with Jordan, it was she was so nervous that it disrupted like the lower register, and I think Ke uh, Kelly carried her th in that song. Yes. I think it was all Kelly yeah. in that song. I heard I was Jordan oh, start to waver, and I got nervous for her. And like, you don't want to be getting nervous for the people on stage. Like, yeah. they are supposed to carry yeah. it. Right. Yeah, and I was nervous for her. So Kelly's got her work cut out for her. So well, her two and people then were in the bottom. On when the you, when yeah. you have somebody uh, being carried, it, it almost makes this show like, well, it's still a pretty good performance because the one girl's so good, or Kelly's so good, the, the professional. But it makes it almost like a TV show like Made, where they just make you uh, an entertainer. Yeah. You know, like mm. they're not actually at that level. So huh. that could be ugly to watch, yeah, that aspect I, I, I was interested. Uh, I mean, we can talk about this. In special segment. I've heard of that. Yeah. <laughs> <But> <laughs> how they, how they pick the people to audition? Well, right. because they kept calling them amateurs, but it's like, how did they know they could but say then they? Yeah, you know? they publicized or they yeah publicized the fact that these weren't just people off the street right. off of mm -hmm. a cattle call. It's not a cattle call, yeah. But well, with I four think they four all sent hits. in audition tapes, right? Right, but how did they? But that's you still know, like a cattle call. I mean, that's like. I mean, I, I, I like how did they sift that's through the way right. easier than a cattle call, mm -hmm. actually. Producers, for, for people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Probably sure I producers set them up with like, I, I bet what they did was the producers gave them like five or six people or eight, like in Jennifer's case, and they showed that first graphic, you know, of all the singers. They give her like eight people to for her to choose. Mm -hmm. they, you know, they'll sift through them all. They'll sift through thousands of probably applications and send them the best eight. You know, like AI would do. AI does yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. And the voice yeah. does that. Yeah. Like special a segment. Special. I keep forgetting. I know. Oh, okay. <laughs> we, okay. we keep let's referencing it. But okay, before we go to break, like, what stood out to you? What song? Who was your favorite of the night? It's Just off the top of your mind. Top off of the your top of my mind. I don't know. I mean, it's hard to. I'll, hard I'll, to I'll start one. it. John. I'll go John, with John. I was gonna say John. John was beautiful. I. I l I loved I not just I just didn't love the song I loved him. Yes. You mean John and Jennifer? Yes, yeah. John and okay. Je Jennifer. Excuse me, John and Jennifer Nettles' team. The, uh, just something about him. Just not just the singing itself. Just that the wait, song. John, that not John song Legend. Like no, John Glosson. Oh. Yeah. John Glosson. Oh, oh, oh. Forgive yeah. me, John Glosson and Jennifer. Okay. That was the one that I put a little box around as I go back around my notes, and I'm like, that was the one that had a box, meaning that was my favorite too. Yeah. <laughs> so we got j two I for John. I wonder if they would have sang a different song if we would have liked it so much. Because that song is just so powerful. I mm. love that song. But it's it, well, it shows testament to John uh, okay, because yeah, he yeah, that yeah. he could actually carry that type mm -hmm. of tune. So we know I'm you want Rob. You, you want Robin. No, your favorite I'm a song. fan <laughs> of that them too. Th I was gonna say John? the song "Stay" and Robin Thicke's okay. were my yeah. two favorites. What about Mich What do you think? Anything, anything stood out? Anything stand out? Um, I liked Lost Without You. I liked that for some reason. Yeah, that girl. song stuck in my head. Okay. Mm -hmm. now. Right. So that wins. And Melissa, uh, oh, oh no, John, we said John yeah, as well. John. So there you have so far kind of like our predictions, favorites of the, ni favorites of the night. But let's take a quick break, and we're going to come back with our special segment. That we've been queuing it all night. So <laughs> that, <laughs> some predictions, and some newsy typey stuff. Stick around. Hey, guys. What's happening? <laughs> we are... The America's Best Dance Crew ABDC After Show coming to you guys. We watch the show every week just like you, and we go every Friday to the set to interview and talk to the crews behind the scenes and let you know what is happening behind the 
magazines. Hey everybody, we are After Buzz Mob Wives Edition, the only Mob Wives after show out there. I'm your host, Adrian Vera, with my lovely co-host. Kevin Undegaro. Grant Rudder. Cameron Martin. You guys can check us out every week. We have a lot of fun. We drink wine. We talk about the show. So check us out. We're also doing the Big Ann Show. So tune into that and Mob Wives Chicago. Hey guys, what's happening? We are the Game of Thrones After Buzz crew. I'm Dave Klein. Bethany Jaber. Kristen Elizabeth Snyder. Simone Boyce. And we come to you every single week live Sunday nights at 9 p.m. Pacific time for we are kings of the Game of Thrones after show. And we have one thing to say. Oh, shadow baby. Oh, shadow baby. Oh, shadow baby. After Buzz TV. What do you want to buzz about? Okay, and we're After back. Buzz. After Buzz. Hey, we All right, before we go to this special segment, I think Carmela wanted to give us the rundown on the chart and where yeah, they ended up. We're going to go through the chart and I guess say if we agree or disagree with their standing. So on the chart, J. Rome on Jennifer Nettles' team was topped the whole time on number one. I, yeah, I think he was great, but I think that has more to do with the fact that he went first. Mm. Okay, okay. I agree. Yeah, good. Oh, kind of like in like the Miss U, like in the beauty pageants when like the first one comes out and they always give her like the high score because they no one that else is going. That is not going. true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's right. Watch out! <laughs> Careful Watch what out! You say. That ain't true, boy. We have a former <laughs> Miss California. Yeah, yeah. I competed. Oh for wow! Miss California. Okay, so that, so we got school. Okay, so moving right along. J. Rome, yeah. J. Rome. Ooh. We all. So, what did you guys think he deserved first? Yeah, I mean, I think he was great, and I think he it's like good. the first performance of the first season of the first of <laughs> yeah. this series. It's like it's like you're serious. on, and I'm so, so nervous. What do you do? Know. Just don't mess up. And action. I know Remember you have no idea live. how this show goes, but, but he do it. he killed his performance though. Yeah, yeah he did. He did great. he deserve it? I don't know. She, she's shaking I, her head. I don't know. I feel Stop like me. it's interesting because you would typically see the end of the show would be some big performance, and they kind of wanted to kick it off. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he had had this big performance but i don't know if he just got high votes because it was like we've never done this before so we're gonna give him a hundred percent yes yes they're like that's great okay Gold yeah star for j rome <laughs> <laughs> happy clap now all right uh <laughs> moving along to number two is johnny gray on john legend's team Teddy bear. Teddy bear. Teddy oh. bear. Oh, oh the sweat. sweaty. Um, <laughs> <laughs> sweaty bear. Sweaty <laughs> bear. I think he definitely Ew. deserves to be in the top three. They uh, all, I feel like they all deserve to be in yeah. the top three, but because the the it's such high standards, like I would put uh, Jennifer Nettles and her Johnny, mm-hmm. what, what's his John, 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 John is definitely. Top. I yeah, put them John, as like not top. Johnny. There we go. Oh, John. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah, no, I, I agree. I, I, I didn't think John was. I didn't think he deserved second. I, th- I think he should have been lower. Yeah, that was oh, shocking yeah. to me. Okay, and then uh, number three is Alexis Foster on Robin Thicke's team. Alexis was. Uh, she was magic. She was magic. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, she should no. not have been there. Yeah. Three. Come I on. Know. Yeah. Come on. I just no. agree with I, that. I agree. He, she's that was not weird. top three. You, you don't think she's top three? No. It goes back to my thing about the it factor. She mm-hmm. just didn't have. They should vote it. at the yeah. end of the show. That, and also, I just feel like we need. There has to be something, or maybe we should be able to see, w- like, a little more of their scoring, not mm-hmm. so much just a ranking, mm-hmm. but like, did they lack in performance or did they like, where were they hurting? Maybe I feel that like would that help goes back along with the construct constructive criticism. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cause they're yeah. all like, everybody's so good. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. Well, I why am I number eight? You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Exactly. I would love to totally disagree with you guys, but I can't. Uh, yeah. I know. Kind of, really I bad. really wanted to, but I just thought, you know, sh- N- the it, it factor <laughs> for me. Yeah, <laughs> I, uh, I think this is going to come up time after time. Is this yeah. it factor idea and who has it? Because they're all great singers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Okay. Number four is John Glosson on Jennifer's team. He should have been number one. Yeah. Yeah. All he right, should have been number one. I think he's so mm-hmm. good. Across the board, we were all in awe. Fantastic. Yeah. I mean yeah. Sh- Jennifer Nettles cried. Yeah. Yeah. In the audience. Yeah. Like what right away. Was it different live? What is it? If we all thought the same mm. exact thing, that John should be number one, and he, he's maybe the four? other judges were jealous. That's what I'm saying. So like it's you strategy. never know what personal oh. things could really get in the way, 
and 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 also they you know may want their like closer friends team to do better you know it's gonna sound like mm. x factor then so mm. uh. Ugh, all right moving along number five olivia Kreshel? Ch- chisholm chisholm chisholm, chisholm. chisholm. Was on Robin Thicke's team. Yes. Oh, oh, that was my oh, girl. Well, she Without was, you, yeah. yeah yes. She should have been higher she than She should have been higher for sure. Yeah, she should have been yeah. higher than Her five. voice is like Maybe two. Amazing. I think maybe. Yeah. Definitely I thought the audition, she should have been mm-hmm. two. I just didn't like the performance. Oh, the audition. That's right. The yeah. audition was, yeah. was better. Yes. No, I get Yeah, I get I'm that. hoping that we'll see more from her, though, mm-hmm. in the next couple of weeks. Definitely. But there's Because I think there's a lot of untapped potential there. And thank God someone wasn't eliminated this week. Yeah, yeah so they get a second so shot. That's so unfair. Yeah. Yeah, Very Dancing with the Stars gives them two weeks. So yeah. Well, it's all the ABC family. I mean, that's true. You know what I mean? Yeah, they, 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 ABC family. They, ABC yeah, family. Uh, there you go. <laughs> 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 so it's, yeah, I mean, I feel like that's something that ABC likes to do is give people a little bit of time. Uh-huh. To yeah, because it's true. Like, we are just meeting these people, so... Yeah, yeah so we can't even keep the name straight True so that. far. So yeah. <laughs> next week we'll have it for sure. So All right, number six was Bridget Carrington on John Legend's team. Uh, She's number six? Yeah. <laughs> she, a Wait, little what was the song? She, I, I liked her arrangement better. She was the one they did um, Tonight oh by John Legend. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it was um. funny when she was on. There was a, this edit on Jennifer Nettles, and she's like going, ah, and oh she's yeah. playing her arms oh up. Yeah. But it seemed like it was just a random edit. Do you think that it oh actually, yeah. ma- do you think it was like a producer's choice? That like, you know, because sometimes <laughs> they're not fully paying it. T- they're not doing this the whole time. No. I think they just cut it. Totally possible. And put oh it in yeah. there. You know. Yeah, I think that that's kind of the risk of the, like when you're not seeing it not live. live or that it's not a live show at least because the live show they have to do what's happening at that moment there's no way to go back and be like well five seconds ago j-lo was doing that yeah. and that's what we really want at american idol so you kind of ha- you're getting a better sense where here they have every opportunity to be like well we really like what he did there and so we'll pop that in and it'll mm-hmm. look great <laughs> that is why i want to pick your brain of uh, uh, coming up on our special segment because of the live performance you went to last night we're almost I there we're almost okay, there. okay. <laughs> <laughs> on chart number seven was jordan meredith on kelly's team jordan um, okay. oh a yeah pink hair i mean i th- i think yeah. the bottom two choices are right yeah. yeah and number eight was jason farrell on kelly's team yeah. too poor yeah. kelly i know so what does that mean about kelly Exactly. That's really what it's like so I much. Know. You know what I also think? I think she probably votes like really high for everyone else. This team because she's so nice. Oh, <laughs> <Don't> <laughs> you know that that is true. You never. Yes, know. that's yeah. what I'm saying. It like it's. <laughs> I don't know. It, it, I don't this know. is a, the, the first episode like of the show. I mean, it, it, it's raising some cool questions that we haven't had in other shows. Mm-hmm. So this is great. So yeah. speaking of that, let's move on to the special segment. The one we've been yeah, teasing we'll since. Buzz. Yes. <laughs> we've been teasing it since <laughs> November. <laughs> That's right. It's our special segment. Now, how does duets compare to X Factor, American Idol, The Voice, and... So you think you can dance? Why Star not? Sir. <laughs> Celebrity duets from 2006. <laughs> all these singing shows. Wow, we've done every singing show here. Yeah. You did Star Search. No. <laughs> 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 like oh my God, four. no! And w- no, and we didn't do America's Got Talent. Just kidding. Yeah, we okay. didn't. Okay. X Factor, The Voice, okay. American Idol. But I mean, have you? Did so you let's watch start. All let's start to you. No, that's what I'm saying. You guys are the perfect people to start with. So the how experts. does it compare? Yeah, it's it's really different. Like I said, in the way that they you don't know who like what is lacking and who's voting what usually they lay it all on the table like mm-hmm. j-lo or you know whoever simon cowell um are, is like no you sh- like should have done this or whatever so it makes more sense but that that's why the the chart seems so random well mm-hmm. i feel it's like so arbitrary if they're trying to show like what the music industry are about or you know like american idol seems like it's like wanting or trying to show that the business is like cutthroat or everything's super cutthroat and, and like dramatic. Wouldn't that be X-Factor more? Yeah, so? oh yeah and X, X oh Factor definitely X-Factor. And, and the voice too. It's like all very dramatic and stuff, which it is, but here, we well, maybe just today, they were like, yay, everybody was <laughs> wonderful. You know, and, and the music industry is not that at all. No. And But there, I think there's a way of being positive and giving constructive criticism mm-hmm. without like 
horrifyingly humiliating then. Yeah. Well, outside... Oh, yeah, it's definitely... Oh, I was just going to say, I think they'd strike a nice balance of that on a little bit on the voice, actually. They, yeah. Exactly. They're able to... I mean, it's not like... Adam or Christina is really saying like you're a terrible singer no. like that's not no, the way yeah. they go about it but it's like Adam will say if somebody's pitch is off he'll be yeah. like that wasn't you know mm -hmm. the best and at least the person then knows that and can work on it I think just yeah. saying like it's fantastic and then walking off stage and I know a lot of these performers don't get the opportunity at least at American Idol and at The Voice to talk to um, the judges outside of being on stage so whatever you're seeing is kind of the information that they're getting mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so and this yeah. might be different because they sing with the person yeah. so maybe they rehearse together oh, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, well, same with the voice yeah they same with the voice together. there's more of that yeah. but you know i think a really big difference is that the voice is so involved on twitter and fa they're so like mm -hmm. socially interactive the sprint mm -hmm. lounge there it's it's Christina such Millions, a huge yeah. part yes. of that show it, we don't know if this is if duets is going to use the, yeah. the interactivity like that which we hope because that it's such an integral part. Well, so I thought it's interesting that they didn't like hit us over the head with it, or even like suggest it. They had slight little hashtags throughout the yeah, show. They you could did. Say, and yeah, they did. Yeah, but it was just like that one thing. Now, come on, you're like a super fan of all of these. So, how would they compare to you? What, who, you know, um, how does duet stand up for you? And you're, you've, you know this better than all of us. So, just how does it stand <laughs> up? Um, you see. Honestly, I'm sort of stumped with that question. I don't know which show I would say I like the best. Or what's right just now. different about what's it? What's different? What stands out to um, you? I like what you said about The Voice, how they give constructive criticism. And I guess in that sense, duets needs to do more of. But in the sense, like their performances on The Voice, when they perform with their mentor, the mentor is like outshining everybody <laughs> in mm. it. Whereas the duets, it, mm. I feel like they're equal. They're mm -hmm. equal performers in the operation. Yeah, the status, definitely. Yeah. Which mm -hmm. is like yeah. a huge thing. So maybe it's going to usher in that new era of niceness, you know, of just nicer TV. Mm. You know, because next month, I mean, in July, E is starting with a new show called Opening Act. Right. And oh, yeah. kind of similar to this, where they knock on someone's door and they oh take yeah. them on this, they have a five-day journey where after those five days, this singer is going to open up for like gym class heroes. And wow, that's awesome. Yes, that's awesome. And, and it's not enough, It's not like a version of punk or anything. They're not no. setting them up, <laughs> they're not setting them up to <laughs> fail. No, they, they're going to give them all the resources to just have them thrive. It's by Nigel Lithgow from uh, AI, and I think Mary J. Blige is involved with it, so... Wow. So it's maybe it's a new eternal so reality like TV. A mm -hmm. TV show of Kelly Clarkson's version of like, there's six thousand people here tonight, and you're gonna mm. sing in front of but them. But they know. Wow. They know. Well, they yeah. know. Well, five days uh, earlier, right? They know. That was spot on. I like that. Right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Killed it. So, all right. But <laughs> so we now know it's too early to tell, but we know we're in for a great season, and and just like happy TV. I I definitely think <laughs> it's. You yeah. know what's funny? I was watching uh, the show, and there's a commercial of Extreme Home Makeover or Extreme Weight Loss. Like mm -hmm. maybe ABC is just going with that route. That's their <coughs> angle. That's their lane. We're gonna do the positive side. Yeah. I think if I was a singer, which I'm not, these two girls are. But if I was a singer, I would say that maybe this isn't the show that I get to really show off me. Maybe I'd want to go more on the voice of the X Factor. Mm. Maybe this would just be something fun, great exposure. I don't know. Because it does seem so weird mm -hmm. to be up there with your favorite person. It's yeah, a little more it's a little more like kumbaya and like this is a great moment, great TV exposure, but I don't think this is about me, the entertainer, well, yeah. as much. Here's okay. Think about it. Think about it like this. So rather than be like, I auditioned for American Idol when you like walk into a meeting or are trying to tell someone what you've done. But I've sang with Kelly Clarkson. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Rather I wonder if we'll ever see them singing by themselves, though. On a show and called Duets? Week, it'll probably be duets. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm clueless about <laughs> what the future of duets has yeah, in that's store for us. Yeah, that's I just feel like with it, I think it benefits the contestants way more to sing with the people first. It's mentoring. It's yes, the mentoring. But you know what's interesting about that, which The Voice has? It's like you... Uh, uh, rather than AI, you like have are mentored by like your person or sing with them, mm -hmm. and that m you take a lot more away from that, you know, than maybe just like 
like going on the AI good next week. and then getting eliminated every week and you don't know your judges and they just like tell you, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, you so watch them more recently. Will, will these have. contestants yeah. go the whole route or are they getting voted off? How's the format of the show? I'm, I'm trying to understand that. We still that. don't know. I C mean, did Caduce not we explain it? I think every week <laughs> somebody is going to get voted off starting next week. Right. Yeah. Uh, that's what's oh, going to okay. happen. Oh, like you said about eight. ABC, yeah. Yeah, they didn't explain so it fully, but yeah, as right. it's so a nine-week run. There's eight contestants. No one gets eliminated this way. I mean, this week. So I'm and not I very good at math, but I <laughs> think that means everyone's leaving. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's weird. Weird. I down to the bottom. Mm -hmm. It's all been I don't what? think there's going to be live shows. I I think. I think hmm. there might be. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. We'll have yeah. to. We'll check in that. And if yeah, you guys we'll know, that tweet out. us that info. You know, chat roll. Let us know. I think it's know. fun. I don't know. I just really liked it, and it's so different. And yeah, it's, I mean, it's not competitive and mentoring. We're losing that. But I'm sorry. Maybe I'm just the opposite one here. But I mean, I really feels like more variety show. And and at the end of the day, kind of a little bit what you were saying. Like you know, you get you get footage <laughs> of yourself performing with a great entertainer. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I, I think I'm gonna keep watching regardless oh, of yeah. it's oh, no, voting sure. off oh. or mentorship or whatever. Like I still like it. I don't know. It was different. I'm for excited me. to see more about the contestants. I feel like that yeah. was something we were definitely lacking tonight. Was oh she's a like this and this and or like he's a marine whatever. And then I just kind of wanted to know more. I was like, well, I want to know more of their backstory and that might be like meeting their family or whatever. And you get a little bit of that on the Voice and mm -hmm. definitely at American yes. Idol. So it would be nice to you know get to know them, and also it would help us know their names. So but always I, nice. I agree. <laughs> and since we don't know their names, why don't we predict who's going to win the whole thing? Is it too early uh, to no. predict the winner? No, let's we might not. Let's I mean do it. All right, then. let's. We're going to predict who's going to win duets. Uh, I'm yes, we got, we got the spooky now, intro. <laughs> who's going it's Halloween. To win All right, yeah. who, who's going to win? Uh, who we, oh. Go ahead. Okay, okay Stephanie. I, I'm going to go out on a limb and go with... Olivia like I didn't love her Whoa. first performance but I think that she going back to the it factor one more time she um, has it and so I think that in the end she will sh shine yeah what about what about you Melissa yeah. what do you think I'm gonna say John today you know As but we'll today. see how it evolves yeah. okay and Michelle, who do you think? Who do you think is going to stay? Well, who's I was going to say I forgot to say who's going to go, yeah. too. We should say who's going to stay and who's going to go. Um, like next week? Yeah. So it is predictions. Know. You know. Who knows? Yeah. Uh-oh. This, uh -oh. Is, we, we, this uh -oh. is why we're experts. That's true. This yeah. she, hey, she <laughs> called Philip Phillips on AI. She called it from day well, one. She's the Stephanie. I did, too. I called Phil Phillips. You called him because he had pretty blue eyes. No. <laughs> that's not true. <laughs> um, who's going to get eliminated? Is next that what we're focusing on? I think... I hate to say it because I think that she's sweet and a super fan and all those mm, things. Yeah. yeah. But it's I think Jordan might be seeing the door. Yeah. Which is kind of sad. I, I agree. Yeah. I agree. But she's happy. Yeah. You know. <laughs> she, she got she's to sing. Yeah. She got to sing with her. Yeah. She's so happy. She got to meet her. I yeah. Think, you know. <laughs> yeah. So you agree? So you agree that agree. Jordan's out and that the winner I is going to be John? Yeah. All right. I I agree with you completely. Oh, wow. So, yeah. And Carmela, yeah. what about you? All right, my top three, J-Rome, John, and Olivia. Top oh, three. Really? Yeah. Top you three. Top you three. Say, you, you know what you should do? Your, your top, top three, nine. your top four, and your bottom four. <laughs> 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 what do you think, Stan? Who do you think is going, Carmela? Uh, someone on Kelly Clarkson's team is going home. All okay. Right. All right, Jason. All right. All right. So but Jennifer you? Nettles' team is the power team right now in mm, my book. That's true. Definitely. I, you know what? I hate agreeing, but... I yeah. think you're spot on. <laughs> I think <laughs> Olivia's going to win it. Just uh, from that audition, I just I, you you heard something. She's the package, and I feel sorry for. I feel bad for Jordan. I, it's. I think Jason will stay. So I think Jordan's out. So mm -hmm. we're getting the hook. So Stephanie, where can they find you? Like At Twitter. Stephanie Wenger, keeping it simple for everybody. Nice. Uh, At Maceda Music, guys, check us out. Check us out. Check our music out. Oh, Michelle and Maceda. So you guys combined it? Yes, we yeah. are. Yeah. Music. I'm, I'm very poor when trying to deal with Twitter. Yes, so she that's is not a good that's Twitter. It's really neat. Twins. 140 characters. It's yeah, I've heard a little really bit about it. it. I, <laughs> she tries, but I just have to. I, I, I fail. It's what about Maceda Music. Car um, Carmela, what about uh, yourself? You can tweet me at Carmela Mondello. I'm going to spell it for you guys. C A R. <laughs> M E L A M O N D E L L O. That's a lot of vowels. Ronnie, what about you? Uh, at Ronnie Junior Media, and my website blog is randomlyronniejr.com. Nice. <laughs> and you can find me at The Everyday Man. You can find all of us at AfterBuzz TV. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thanks.
From Bing.com, executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz! Buzz see you later! later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.